Here's what you'll need to know about Remo before joining your first event. To log in to Remo, click on the event link sent in your confirmation email. When it's time for the event, click Sign In to join event. Here you'll have to create an account with your email and select a password. Complete the system check to ensure your computer, microphone, and browser are compatible with the software. You'll see a preview of your face. Once you pass the system check, click Join Event. If your camera and microphone are not working, click on the Camera and Microphone Not Working link at the bottom of that screen. To note, Remo does not currently support virtual backgrounds, so be sure you have a good space to sit, good lighting, and a neutral background. Now it's time to set up your profile or business card information. To set up your profile or business card, click on the circle icon with your initial in the top right corner of the screen and click My Profile. Then click Edit User. Upload a photo of yourself to serve as your avatar by clicking Add or Change Profile Picture. Then add your full name and class year as shown below and update your headline to share a little about yourself. Update your company and job title and then be sure to include your LinkedIn profile so that people can connect with you after the event. You can also include a link to your personal or company website if you'd like. Once you are done, click Save Changes at the bottom, then exit out of the pop-up box to return to the main event screen. After updating your avatar, you will see yourself represented by your headshot. If you didn't upload a photo, you'll see your initial at whichever table you're seated at. The event staff are marked with a star, and they are here to ensure the event is running smoothly. Once your business card is set up, make sure to turn your camera and microphone on by clicking on the icons at the bottom toolbar. Now you are ready to network. So now that you're set up, how do you navigate the event? The room is composed of tables and chairs. To move around, double click on any open seat. The event begins with you being randomly placed at a table, but then you'll have the option to move around. Each table is represented by a number. Please refer to the networking sheet to see where particular attendees are located. Once you join the table, you will be added into the conversation right away. To change the camera view on your screen, click Tile View at the bottom toolbar. This will increase the size of everyone's face on your screen. To change the view back, click Back to Floor. To move around the event, you can click and drag your mouse to move the screen or zoom in on any aspects. If there are multiple floors, you will see an elevator icon on the left and you can click to navigate to a new floor. Then click Yes, go to another floor. If you hear a bell during the event, this means the event manager has sent out an announcement. It will appear in a pop-up box on your screen like this. Just like at an in-person event, your conversation may be briefly interrupted by an event host wishing to share a quick presentation. You will see a video presentation fill your screen and your camera and microphone will be turned off. Networking will be paused at this time. Thank you so much for coming to our event. When the presentation is over, you will be returned to the table you were at before the presentation started with your camera and microphone turned on. Next, I'd like to point out several features in the room for you to be aware of. To find the event agenda, click on the clipboard icon at the top of the screen. This will show you the schedule for the event. The chat box in the bottom toolbar is the best way to find someone specific at the event. You can chat with your table mates through table chat, all attendees using general chat, and you can also send a private message directly to another attendee or to the event host with questions under private chat. Click on any of the resources available on the left side of the screen to get more information, see FAQs, and see a list of other event attendees you may want to connect with. 
Click on an empty chair at the help desk table located on the right side of the screen if you have any questions, comments, or concerns during the meeting. An alumni relations staff member will be at this table throughout the entire event to assist you. The tables at the bottom of the screen with two chairs are for one-on-one -on -one conversations if you want to meet specifically with one other person. Click on an empty chair at the take a break table located underneath the help desk table when you need a break from the conversation or need to step away from your computer. Turn your microphone and camera off when at this table. We look forward to seeing you at a UMass Amherst event hosted through Remo very soon. Bye.